This video shows how the flipped classroom model made a change in the teaching approach of the physics department at the Revius Lyceum, Maasluis, in the Netherlands. But what is flipping the classroom? At school, pupils are used to listening to a teacher's lecture. Some pupils understand the content without any problems, but there are also pupils that do not get it right away. They need some extra explanation. Yet, there are also pupils that already understand the content, so they do not need to listen to the lecture at all. The latter group is probably very bored when they have to listen to the teacher's lecture. Flipping the classroom makes differentiation easier and it enables the teacher to meet each learner's individual needs. Another advantage is that the pupils learn to work more independently. In the traditional way, they get all the information they need from the teacher. In this way, they don't learn how to work independently and think creatively to solve the problems assigned to them. Universities and colleges highly appreciate these essential 21st century skills. At the end of the school day, the pupils go home where they are supposed to do the tasks in their course books individually. But it is possible that they cannot do the assignments because they do not understand what to do. Then pupils do not answer the questions at all. They might fill in wrong answers or they copy the answer keys. For the teacher it is very difficult to see whether the pupils understood his explanation or not. When the teacher flips the classroom he can avoid all these problems. Flipping the classroom means that you flip school and home. At home, pupils neither do homework nor work on their tasks anymore. But it goes without saying that the teacher cannot explain the content of the course book to each pupil individually. So how do the pupils get access to the teacher's lecture? At home, the pupils watch and listen to the lecture on a video, which is made by the teacher. The advantage is that the pupils can pause or rewind the video when parts of it are not clear to them. When the pupils come to school, they have already seen the explanation about the topic on video. This means that they can start with their assignments straight away. At school, the pupils work together in groups on certain assignments independently. They can help each other and explain certain things that are not clear. Sometimes they work individually on a task at their own pace. In the lesson, the pupils use their mobile device to look up the information they need. The teacher has more time in class to coach the learners. And there is also more time to do practical lab assignments, research and collaborative group work. Flipping the classroom starts with watching the teacher's video at home. This video is in an iBook which can be found on the iPads. The pupils can watch the lecture wherever and whenever they want to and re-watch it if needed, as long as it has been watched before they come to school. While watching the video, they can make notes and write down their questions about the video in their notebooks. The video warns the pupils when they have to make notes. The teacher asks them to bring their notes and questions to class. After having watched the video, the pupils have to do a short digital diagnostic test about the content of the video. This test is embedded in their iBooks. It is meant for both the teacher and the pupils to check whether the pupils have understood the content of the video. When they have done the test, they send it to the teacher. Both pupils and teacher can see the results of the diagnostic test immediately. When the results of the test are poor, the pupils can watch the video again and write down what they haven't understood about the video and the diagnostic test. Before the next lesson, the teacher looks at the pupils' test results. He pays attention to what the pupils haven't understood in the video or the diagnostic test, so that he knows exactly what to explain again to the pupils that need some extra explanation. The pupils come to class well prepared. They have watched the video, taken notes, written down questions and done the test. Both the teacher and the students have watched the test results online at home 
and they have noticed what went wrong. The pupils who don't need to ask questions and did well in the diagnostic test can immediately start working in groups on the exercises, assignments or practical sessions in their iBooks, either in the classroom or in the lab. For the pupils with questions and the ones that had poor test results, the teacher starts his lesson with a discussion on the results of the diagnostic test and he answers the pupils' questions. Then the pupils can ask the questions they have written down about the video. It depends on the results of the diagnostic test and the questions if the teacher decides to give some additional explanation about the content of the video. It is important that the results of the diagnostic tests are good. If the results are poor, the teacher advises the pupils to watch the video again. He will also explain the difficult parts to the pupils that need some extra help. Then, these pupils can redo the diagnostic test to see if they understand the content of that section. When the results are good, the pupils can start with the tasks, activities and practical lab assignments in the classroom or in the lab. In class, the pupils always work in groups. All materials, extra explanation, the videos, diagnostic tests, assignments, questions, additional activities, answer keys and educational physics games are in the pupils' iBooks. They work independently and part of the lesson is spent on collaborative tasks. They explain what their classmates do not understand and ask questions when they cannot do the tasks themselves. If the members of the group cannot answer the questions, the teacher will help them. He explains it again or furthers them in another way. When the group has done all the questions, tasks and practical work, each pupil has to do a final diagnostic test individually. Again, the test will not be marked, but the test gives them and the teacher great insight into their knowledge of the section. The pupils can only start with the next section in the iBook when the results are good. When they are bad, the pupils can ask the members in the group or the teacher for help. When the pupils have done all the tasks, questions and practical work of the sections and finished all the diagnostic tests, they can do the more difficult assignments or work on enrichment activities. They can also create a project with some of their classmates themselves. For instance, how much upward force does a worker exert to lift the handles of a wheelbarrow when the load is placed in the wheelbarrow bucket? Does the upward force the worker exerts to lift the handles of the wheelbarrow change when you place the load somewhere else in the wheelbarrow bucket? At the end of each topic, the pupils will take their final test. The teacher carefully plans and designs the test to measure whether the pupils have really understood the topic. When the pupils enter the classroom, they can start doing the test straight away. At the end of the lesson, the pupils hand in their test and the teacher marks them.